I'd like to call the meeting of the contract review subcommittee for the Board of Public Utilities to order. You may have a roll call, please. Board Member Grable? Here. Board Member Badenfort? And Chair Galvin? Here. Let the record reflect that all board members are present with the exception of Board Member Badenfort. Just a reminder, I don't think it'll be an issue today, but we can only have three microphones on at the same time, so please mute your microphone when you're not speaking. We'll move to item two on the agenda, which is public comments. So we'll now take public comments on item two. If you're in the room, please move to the microphone and wait for the timer to appear on the screen. Nobody rising. That'll take care of item number two. We'll now move to our main item, number three, Director Burke. Thank you, Chair Galvin and members of the subcommittee. Our uh, contract item for today is a proposed professional services agreement with integrated project solutions for engineering design services for the Delta Pond standby generator and Laguna treatment plant annex boiler replacements project. And Chris Balanese, our associate uh, civil engineer with our capital projects team will be making the presentation. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Hello. So Hello, Chair Galvin and Board Member Grable. My name is Chris Balanisi, Associate Civil Engineer with Capital Projects Engineering. So today I am presenting a more detailed look into the proposed professional services agreement for, the, for engineering design services pertaining to the Delta Pond standby generator and Laguna treatment plant annex boiler replacements project. So the project is split up into two locations. The first project location is at the Delta Pond. So the Delta Pond is a recycled water storage pond in the reuse system that delivers water to the recycled water main line. The facility is fed 12 kilovolt power by PG&E overhead lines. During winter storms, the facility experiences power outages and inaccessibility due to flooding along the access road. The loss of power creates operational issues for critical pump, valve, and control infrastructure. The second project location is at the Laguna Treatment Plant. The Laguna Treatment Plant Annex Building contains two gas-fired plant boilers previously installed in the 90s. The boilers serve as a secondary heat source for the plant's anaerobic digesters when demands are high or the combined heat and power engines are not running. The boilers have reached the end of their service life. One boiler is emissions non-compliant and not running. The other has been plagued by operational issues throughout use. The project will provide standby power and controls to operate the Delta Pond pump station during power outages and replace two outdated boilers at the Laguna treatment plant along with any necessary controls and piping infrastructure. Pursuant to the project goals, we engaged in solicitation procedures to acquire a consultant for engineering design services. A request for proposals was prepared and posted to Planet Bids October 23rd, 2023 for approximately 21 working days. The posting was visible to the general public with no restrictions. 556 vendors were notified. One proposal was received 
from Integrated Project Solutions, or IPS, from Walnut Creek on November 20th, 2023. The proposal was evaluated by a review panel of myself, my supervisor, and a quality control associate. We followed solicitation and evaluation procedures consistent with council policy 600-01. The proposal was evaluated for consistency with the request for proposals and design terms framework, all of which are standardized templates. Three of the four references were checked with a consistent questionnaire and logged. The proposal was discussed amongst the review panel with a consensus to move forward due to the quality of the proposal, experience, reference feedback, and competitive billable rates. It is recommended by our office that the Board of Public Utilities by motion approve a professional services agreement with Integrated Project Solutions of Walnut Creek to provide a professional engineering design services for the Delta Pond standby generator and Laguna treatment plant annex boiler replacements project in an amount not to exceed $392,282. Questions? Thank you, Mr. Bolognese. Um, the only question I think I have is, did we have any kind of in-house engineer's estimate of what we thought the project would maybe come in at as far as getting multiple proposals? Yes. Um, so the project is extremely specialized and um, the equipment itself is um, fairly easy to come up with an estimate just on the equipment alone. But because a lot of it is jumping into unknown um, electrical and uh, exhaust plumbing, and then as well as the liquid plumbing for uh, the boilers, there, there's a lot of unknowns associated with it. So uh, we did not have a straightforward engineer's estimate from our asset management team. So uh, what we ended up doing to review um, competitive competitiveness in terms of pricing was um, looking at other projects of similar similar manpower scope um, with, um, with a comparison of total cost as well as hourly rates. The hourly rates were, ex were exceptionally um, competitive and the pricing itself was um, also exceptionally competitive if not um, in the median range. Chris, any questions? No, it's just, yeah, it's always interesting to see with the unique aspects of our system, how we navigate some of these little, you know, little but very important issues. Do we, I just had a strange question. Um, whose easement or whose authority is the road in, um, because you were mentioning the difficulty of access, it's always flooding that road off of Willowside to Delta Pond. Is that our road or is there, or do we have an easement? Uh, from from my from resources that we have on hand says it's a water agency access road road. So no more water, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um uh, wanna make a motion? Uh yeah, I move move to uh to approve the recommendation. I'll second that. We'll now open up for public comment on item three point one. If you wish to make a comment, please move to the microphone. Seeing none. We'll have a roll call vote, please. Board Member Grable? Aye. Um, Board Member Battenfort is absent, and Chair Galvin? Aye. Okay, and that passes um, with Board Member Battenfort absent. Very good. Thanks for the presentation. Good luck with the project. Thank you. And that's the extent of our agenda for today, so we're adjourned. Good morning. <laughs>